In this tutorial, we will be looking at horizontal compressions and expansions of conic sections. When applying a horizontal compression or expansion to a conic section, it should be applied directly to X, making sure to place both the transformation and X in brackets. Expansions are applied as a fraction. An expansion by a factor of D would be applied as 1 over D multiplying the X. Compression by a factor of 1 over D would be applied as D multiplying X. Consider a circle. Here is both the equation and graph of a circle. Now apply a horizontal expansion by a factor of 4. To do this, we multiply X by 1 over 4. See how the graph of the circle changes as well. Next, we will apply a horizontal compression to the original circle by a factor of 1 half. We do this by multiplying x by 2, and we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Next, we will look at an ellipse. Here is both the equation and graph of an ellipse. Now apply a horizontal expansion by a factor of 5. To do this, we multiply x by 1 over 5. We can see how the graph of the ellipse changes as well. Next, we will apply a horizontal compression to the original ellipse by a factor of 1 half. We do this by multiplying x by 2, and we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Next, we will look at a hyperbola. Here is both the equation and graph of a hyperbola. Now apply a horizontal expansion by a factor of 2. To do this, we multiply x by 1 over 2. We can see how the graph of the hyperbola changes as well. Then, we'll apply a horizontal compression to the original hyperbola by a factor of 1 fifth. We do this by multiplying x by 5. And we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Finally, we will look at a parabola. Here is both the equation and graph of a parabola. Now apply a horizontal expansion by a factor of 3. To do this, we multiply x by 1 over 3. We can see how the graph of the parabola changes as well. Next, we will apply a horizontal compression to the original parabola by a factor of 1 fourth. We do this by multiplying x by 4. We can see how the graph changes accordingly. In this lesson, you learned about horizontal compressions and expansions of conic sections. That for a horizontal expansion by a factor of d, you multiply x by 1 over d, remembering to put the factor being multiplied and x in brackets. You also learned that for a horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over d, you multiply x by d. These rules apply to all conic sections.